stole my work. I'll trade y'all stole my work. Before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all my social media. That's Instagram, TikTok, Threads, X, at the Mona Banks, at the Mona Banks. Follow me on Instagram, at the Mona Banks. I would really appreciate it. I know y'all have already seen the title of the video, so we are now entering into the series, The Girl Behind the Tutorials, and I am the girl, the woman, behind the tutorials, and I'm going to be opening up and sharing a lot of stories that I have not shared that I've been wanting to share so I'm basically going to share my story um outside of me doing hair tutorials and everything like that I'm sure y'all saw the intro so y'all get the gist of what this is I'm gonna really dive right into the story I know y'all seen that title so we're just gonna go ahead and dive in I just want to start off by saying I have all receipts and I will definitely be adding the receipts into this video so yeah whoo it is definitely long overdue and I should have been spoke on it, but life be life in, and I'm just now finally at a place where there's things that I can talk about. So I do have notes on my phone, so I will be like looking at my phone. That way I'm able to guide y'all through this story. Bear with me because I'm, I have not done a video like this ever on my channel. And I also haven't done a video like this sitting down in a while. So just bear with me. So... <laughs> I'm going to be talking to you guys about my really viral video. It is the how to do a sleek, fluffy ponytail on natural hair. I know a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel because of that video. So that's the video that we are going to be talking about today. And I'm just going to be giving y'all a backstory on that video because a lot of times as creators, we come on this camera and we post tutorials and I, I'm, I'm, let me just speak for myself. I come on the camera, I post my tutorials and I go and y'all don't really be knowing like the backstory about things. Y'all just watching the video, not knowing that a whole lot of chaos may have broke out in the background when it pertains to the video. So the year is 2019 when all of this took place. So Outre is a really big hair company. I'm sure all of y'all know who Outre is. They sell braiding hair, extensions, things of that sort. I'm sure, I'm sure when y'all go into the beauty supply store, y'all see their brand everywhere, right? So a lot of us are really familiar with the brand. I've showed you guys that brand on my channel multiple times, especially in the earlier stages of me being a natural hair influencer. They reached out to me in the year of 2019. And also like I'll put the dates here on the screen for context, but they did reach out to me in 2019 and they basically were letting me know that they had some new products that they were going to be promoting, that they wanted to be promoted. But I don't think it's Outre that directly reached out to me. They reached out to me through an agency that I believe that they work with. And we'll get that we'll get to that point a little later on in the video, basically. So they reach out to me through this company that they, I guess, that they use to reach out to influencers. If y'all are following, if y'all catching what I'm putting down. Basically, I think they have like a management company. So they reached out to me and asked me did I want to try some of the products. I can't find those emails. I don't know what happened to them, but I remember this part very vividly. Um, so they reached out to me. It had a list of different products that they were going to come be coming out with. And they asked me did I want to try some of them. So yes, as any influencer would do, I agreed to trying some of the products. And I requested for them to send me the Outre Bomb Twist Hair. So I know y'all like, how does this correlate? Just follow the story. I know we're going to get to the fluffy ponytail part, but I have to start here or it's not going to make sense. So they was like, I was like, I'll take the um, I'll trade bomb to his hair because it was my birthday coming up. It was going to be my birthday month and I had already planned on doing braids for my birthday. So I'm like, okay, they want to send me some hair. That saved me some money. I don't got to buy no hair. That's just me being truthful. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll do twists for my birthday. But also, I will say this is why you should never accept any product without getting paid or show any product without getting paid. You do have to start somewhere a lot of the times. But at this point, I was a seasoned content creator. But also, I was looking from looking at it from a standpoint where 
When I go into the store, the beauty supply stores, and buy hair, a lot of times for my tutorials, they're not sponsored anyways. That's just me literally, genuinely walking in the beauty supply store, you know, getting some hair and using it, or me getting some Eco Styler gel and using it, or me getting some even edge control and using it. These companies aren't paying me, but these are the items that I use on my hair. So, of course, I'm going to share them with my audience. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, that's just what comes with a point of influence and like if y'all ask me where this top was of course i'm gonna tell y'all even if i don't have a sponsorship or deal with them you know what i'm saying so that's like the downside to influencing is like you want to get keep but you also want to share with your audience so with this hair with them sending me the hair i'm like not thinking nothing of it like okay i'm getting some free hair to you know use for a tutorial I did the video where i showed y'all how i installed the twist and i'll put that here on the screen and then i also followed that up with doing a styling video on how to like style the hair in different ways because y'all know whenever i have braids if you've been watching me for a long time you know whenever i have braids i'm gonna always do that styling video just to give y'all options and show y'all different ways that you can style the hair so the twist video was uploaded september 7th of 2019 my birthday is September 8th, by the way. So I'm telling y'all that was my birthday here. Then I uploaded the styling video September 13th, 2019. That was the twist video, the Outre Bomb twist, okay? Now, before I even uploaded the videos, her name is, I'm gonna make sure I let y'all know who her name is because I'm not, I don't, I don't have to keep no information. Like, I don't care. Um, Stella Wayne. She works for Mama Tress. That is the marketing company. I believe that they are. Her name is Stella Wang. She reached out to me. Initially, I can't remember if Stella reached out to me first because I told y'all I couldn't find the beginning emails. But this email that I'm talking about right now was an intern by the name of Alexis. And then she looped Stella into the conversation later on. So then I started talking to her. And basically, she was pressing me about posting the videos now mind you they did send me the hair at the end of august my birthday september you pressing me about some hair to post some content that i'm not even getting paid for so if i'm not getting paid for the content or i'm not getting paid to show the part the product i'm gonna show it on my own time you don't get to choose when i post the videos especially because we're not in a contract you're not paying me so I already agreed to taking the hair because I wanted to use the hair for my birthday. But what you're not going to do is rush me. I'm on my own time. Now, if this was a paid collaboration, I'm going to get my video out. Like, y'all see what I do in my hair tutorials or in my wig reviews. Whenever I do a wig review, I get it out because ultimately, I want my money. Like, I want my money. At the end of the day, social media has turned into a business. So it's like, if you're not paying me, don't press me up about nothing. So basically, I was kind. I responded. And I just basically was saying that I had been busy for a couple of weeks, which was true at the time. And that it would be featured on my channel that upcoming week. Post the videos or whatever the case may be. This is now after my birthday by the time the videos really get posted. By this time, well, the styling video got posted after my birthday. Because a lot of times I film in advance, you guys. A lot of my content is filmed in advance. So at this point... I done already took the twist out. So once I took the twist out, I'm like, I had only had these twists in maybe two weeks max, I think. Maybe two. I don't even think I had them in three weeks. Because y'all know I switched my hair a lot back then. So a lot of times when I prepare to do a tutorial or I want to get creative and get in my bag, I'll usually just go to the beauty supply store and I'll just walk the aisles. And usually I'm in there for a minute. Like I, when I'm at the beauty supply store, especially when I go to the beauty supply stores in Atlanta, I'm in a beauty supply store for a minute. Like I'm not in there for a short a short period of time because I'm in there looking at different products, looking at different hair, you know, trying to get inspiration because I don't watch hair tutorials, you guys. Contrary to popular belief, I don't watch natural hair tutorials. I don't need to watch natural hair tutorials because I know how to do hair. I used to watch them back in the day when like the natural hair movement was just starting to help me get comfortable with wearing my natural hair. But as far as styling, YouTube didn't teach me how to do my hair. I taught myself how to do my hair. I'm self-taught. I was doing my hair when it was relaxed. I was doing my hair off camera when it was natural. Like, yeah. So let's just put that out there. So <laughs> whenever I'm doing a video or whatever, like I said, like 
if I want to do something with my hair, I'm going to go to the beauty supply store and I'm just going to walk the aisles and that helps me get inspired. Oh, I'm in the beauty supply store and that's when I come across the Outre Expression Twisted Up Crochet Braid Hair, which is the Springy Afro Twist Hair. That is the hair that is in my viral video of the fluffy ponytail. So I come across that hair and I remember that when I picked from the list to try, when they sent me the list initially when I did the twist video to ask me what hair I wanted to test out and try, I remember that hair being on that list. So when I seen that hair, I'm like, ooh, they got this hair in stores already. I'm going to just get this hair. Now, mind y'all, keep in mind that this hair was not designed to do ponytails. I repeat, keep in mind that the hair was not designed to do ponytails. When I know for a fact, when they designed that hair and made that hair, they had that hair in mind to do spring twists. Because at the time, that was very popular on social media. It was trending. It was all over YouTube. Spring twist, spring twist, spring twist, spring twist. Everybody was doing spring twist tutorials. That is what they made that hair for. Because it's very curly at the ends. And so when it gets to the end, you twist it down and it's going to give that bounce. But when I saw the hair, because this is what I do. I'm an artist. I'm a creator. I'm a content creator. Okay? This is what I do. Can't nobody take that from me. Y'all can look at the numbers and numbers don't lie, babe. Numbers don't lie. This is what I do. This is who I am, okay? I'm a creative. No matter whether it's in fashion, hair, whatever, I'm going to put my all into it because I'm a creator. So I'm like, ooh, a light bulb goes off. I'm like, I can use this hair to do a low fluffy ponytail. Bomb. That's going to be bomb. It's going to eat down. It's going to look good, right? Buy the hair. I go home, I'm geeked up, like, yes, I'm about to do my hair, it's about to be a weekend, I'm about to do my hair, I'm about to go out, hang out, boop de boop Jump the tutorial, it's 444 right now. My necklace says 444, that's crazy. Upload the tutorial on September 16th, 2019. The video takes off, the video's doing numbers, the video's going viral. Viral, viral, viral. And if y'all been watching me for a long time, if y'all my OG supporters, and I really appreciate y'all, y'all know, Whenever I do a natural hair tutorial, one thing about it, two things for sure, that baby is going viral. Every single time, don't play with me. Look down my channel. My natural hair tutorial, I'm not talking about wig reviews. I'm talking about my original natural hair tutorials that I come up with. They go viral every time. Because I feel like when I'm not really doing natural hair tutorials, the internet and the natural hair community on YouTube is crickets. It's crickets because people ain't got nothing to bite off of. If we could just be completely honest, okay? I mean, I'm going to pop my shit. One thing about 2024, this is the year, okay? This is the year. That video today sits at 1.6 million views. 1.6 million views, okay? <clears throat> yeah. I'm out in the real world still to this day. I see women with that hairstyle. I'll literally be at the mall and I'll see a girl with the hairstyle and I know that's my hairstyle because it's the same hair, same part down the middle and slicked back. That's my tutorial. I have influence. Whether people want to believe it or not, I see my influence out in the world on a regular basis. If y'all go to that video right now, go to that video after you watch this and look at the comments. Still to this day, I get comments on that video of women telling me that they're thankful that they found this tutorial. Thank you. They doing it for a wedding. They doing it for a birthday. They doing it for this. They doing it for that. They found their hairstyle for back to school. Listen, I know my influence is real. Thank God, most importantly. Thank, shout out to God. My influence is important. So one thing you're not going to do with me is act like I'm not influential and act like my influence is not a big deal. Because it is. And then not to mention... The girlies on YouTube, and I'm not going to say no names because I'm not giving nobody no clout, but the girlies on YouTube proceed to do my tutorial <laughs> without giving me any shout outs, any credibility, acting like they the ones that went to the beauty supply store and came up with this concept. Babe, you did not come up with the concept. And I know a lot of y'all going to be like, well, anybody can do a ponytail, I'm on it. Anybody can do a point. Anybody can do a ponytail, but everybody can't do that ponytail. I created that ponytail, okay? There's different variations of ponytails, and that's mine. <laughs> I'm claiming that. That's mine. Because if you look at the dates of everybody else's tutorials, <laughs> mine's is first. Look at them dates. If I type in, I'm going to put a little screen recording, type in fluffy hair, fluffy hair ponytail on natural hair, my tutorial going to come up first. Natural hair ponytail, you scroll, you're going to see my, my ponytail. My video, okay? That's it's at 1.6 million views that I posted before every other creator posted theirs. Don't act like my, I have influence. 
Period. So I know Altrey seen that. They seen that. And this is how I know they seen that. Because we're going to get back to these emails, these receipts, okay? <laughs> Do not play with me. Do not play with me. Like I tell y'all, I see people out in the real world. I see them with my ponytail. That's mine. That's stamped. Regardless if I use y'all hair or not, I'm the creator of that, baby. And nobody can outdo the doer, baby. You can't outdo the shiner. Like, how you gonna try to outdo the doer? And you fail. Can't outdo the doer, babe. Like, get the doer. Instead of trying to outdo the doer, just get the person. Just get the person. That's all you have to do is get the person. I had let her know that, um, I posted the Twisted videos, right? Mind y'all. I didn't even mention the ponytail video. Because that's how I am. I'm the type of person where I'm going to see what you're going to say. Because I know y'all watching me. Because a lot of brands over the years have watched me, y'all. I've got emails on emails and emails. i got stories on stories on stories on brands. Yeah. They be watching me. They be watching my channel. They be stealing my stuff. Brands have done it to me for years. Instead of getting with me, getting in the field, let's make some money. No. They decide to steal. So this is the Stella Wayne lady from the Mama Trust Marketing, whoever they are. She said, hey, Mona. This is Stella from Mama Tress. I am the account manager for our client, Outray Hair. Thank you for posting the video featuring the wavy bomb twist on your YouTube channel. Okay? Listen, y'all. I also stumbled upon your cute ponytail tutorial using springy afro twist from Expressions Twisted Up line. We absolutely adore your content. We will be reposting the content you created sometime soon in October once we map out our Outrace calendar. Meanwhile, let's stay connect connected for future collabs. Now, I'm going to put the picture that they posted. They didn't, I don't recall unless I missed it, but I do not recall them posting my twist on their social media. But I do know that they posted the picture of me with my fluffy ponytail that I used, that I created for the Afro Twist hair. I'm going to put that here. That picture is still up on their Instagram. <laughs> facts. I got facts. Maybe I can, I'm not making this ain't made up, baby. One thing about me, I'm going to come with the facts. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, whatever. She saw the video. You know, okay. You let me know you see me and I see you. So I responded back. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm happy you got to check out both my videos. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it like them the ponytail is a hit everyone loves it 1.6 million views baby and at the time i can't remember where the video was at at the time but it, it had some thousands and thousands of views at the time it had a lot of views at that time this is all goes down of september of 2019 she writes me again december of 2019 and she says hi mona hope you had a great thanksgiving holiday I wanted to touch base again to see if you would be interested in trying our new springy afro twist 24 inch. Okay, now that's the hair. Same hair that I used for my fluffy ponytail. But that length was 16 that I used because that's the only length that they had out at the time. She said, and 24 inch. I'll trade added a longer length in addition to our original springy afro twist 16 inch that I used in my fluffy ponytail tutorial. We created a long ponytail using the 24 inch hair. Let me know what you think. Looking forward to hearing, hearing from you. So she just said, we created, we created, we created, be, be for real. Now, now you playing, now you playing with me. We created a long ponytail below using the 24 inch hair. And she shows this picture. I just recently found out that this girl is a creator. I didn't know who she was. This is no shade to her or nothing like that because obviously they saw her out. She did the brand deal and probably got her money. And I'm not mad at that at all. She did what she had to do. I mean, I don't know her business, but I'm just saying I'm assuming she did what she had to do. So this is nothing against this, this creator because at the end of the day, if an opportunity is presented to you nine times out of ten, you're going to take it, right? So I look at the picture and I'm flabbergasted, baby, because that's my tutorial. <laughs> that's my tutorial. That's my hairstyle. So you mean to tell me that y'all couldn't reach out to me after I'm the reason why that hair is viral. I'm the reason why hair stores is calling y'all to and sending in orders and requesting orders for that hair to be at their beauty supply store because women all over the United States is requesting the hair. I'm the reason. I'm the reason. The hair was never even intended to be a ponytail, like I said earlier. The hair was intended for a twist. That's my tutorial. 
Like, what we doing? You mean to tell me that y'all couldn't reach out to me, the originator, and say, hey, Mona, let's collab, let's work. We'll fly you to our studio. Let's have you do the tutorial. Or let's have the stylist do the hair on you because you're the originator. No, they saw out another influencer for my work, for my creation. I'm hot. Even me talking about it right now, I'm pissed. Because what? Because ultimately, y'all owe me money. You paid another creator to do me. That's crazy. And no shade to her, but that's crazy. Like, that's that's nasty work. Like, that's really crazy. So I respond back and I'm like, Oh, Stella, thanks for reaching out again. I think that's good that you guys extended the length of the hair. Everyone is loving my tutorial. Okay? I see from the picture added below that my hair tutorial inspired this low ponytail with the hair, which is cool. Considering my tutorial went viral and has gained lots of purchases of the hair, will this collaboration be compensated? I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. I don't know why I said it was cool because it wasn't cool, but I'm going to tell you why I said it was cool because originally at this point, she had only sent me the picture. My thing is, why are you reaching out to me after you already stole my work, you got an influencer, and you got a stylist, and you filmed your content, and then after you filmed your content, which is my work that you stole, then you want to reach out to me to promote. No, you should have reached out to me to promote it from the top. You shouldn't have reached out to no other influencer because it was my work that y'all stole y'all took my idea and y'all stole it and didn't reach out to me that's crazy she hadn't sent me no video no nothing i did not know until a few days later until they posted it on their social media that that not only did they do my tutorial that they hired a stylist to do it on that said influencer and just x me out of it as if it wasn't my creation what are you doing excuse me that shit was not cool that was not cool you literally stole my work you stole my work you stole my work. I'll trade y'all stole my work. And that's why I don't ever promote y'all. I don't even talk about y'all. After this, y'all, y'all never seen me promote Outre here, ever. Because that was low down and dirty. And my thing about the situation is y'all should have got in the field with me. I made y'all company a lot of money with my tutorial. And that's the that's the thanks I get? That's the thanks I get? Yes, I'm I'm pissed, y'all. Like, cause that's the th that's the thanks I get. That's a slap in the face. That's a slap in the face. So then. She responds and says, hey, Mona, thank you for getting back to me. I'm open to offer compensation for this project. Although the last video went viral, we cannot guarantee this video will be getting the same attention again. Who y'all? Who? Put some respect on my name. Because who y'all playing with? Who? Put some respect. Who y'all playing with? Check the numbers. Numbers don't lie. Any natural hair tutorial that I've done on my channel does numbers. And I'm talking about my original content. Not me doing a hair review. My original content. Whenever I put this brain to work and come up with styles, they go viral every single time. I've been in Essence Magazine. I've been on BuzzFeed. Check my credentials, baby. Do not play with me. Like, that was a slap in the face and that was an insult. What do you mean it's not guaranteed to go viral again? Any video that I do with my natural hair is going to go viral, babe. It's going to go viral. So it's like, what? Like, who you talking to? Like, who you talk? Like, that's crazy to me. I'm getting pissed all over it again because this is crazy. Having to relive this is crazy. I, she said, although the last video went viral, we cannot guarantee this video will be getting the same attention again. We want to start out with $150. Nah, you can't. You, you can't be talking to me. $150 after I just made out trade here? Probably thousands. You cannot be playing with me right now. You can $150. What am I going to do with $150? By the time I buy the supplies, use my camera, my Wi-Fi, my MacBook, $150? I got to edit, do the makeup, do the $150 after y'all already played in my face and stole my tutorial and, and, and hired a stylist and the stylist did the video on a, the hairstyle on another influencer? What? $150? Yes, I know you guys, in the moment, I should have emailed her back and advocated for myself. I should have spoke up for myself, defended myself, let them know what they had done to me, even though I feel like grown people know what they do to you, so you really shouldn't even have to explain to them, but I definitely shouldn't have let them play it in my face like that. Ultimately, like I told you, I had a lot going on in my personal life at the time, so I just couldn't deal with it at that moment. I wish I had dealt with it in that moment. If I could go back in time, I definitely 
would have. But at the end of the day, it's never too late to ever speak up for yourself. And that's why I'm speaking up and talking about it now, because this needs to be heard. People need to know how these companies play dirty and how disrespectful they are. So I'm sharing it. At this time in my life, y'all, I was going through a lot. So I really, I was flabbergasted. I was shocked. I was appalled. I was hurt. So I simply responded back, responded back and I said, hello, Stella. Thanks for getting back to me and reaching out. I have to decline the $150 offer. She responded back and said, do you have a rate in mind for this project? I never responded back because the disrespect was too loud. When she said that it wasn't guaranteed to go back, you don't know, do you not know who you're talking to? Do you not know who you're dealing with? Like people need to really put some respect on my name for real, I'm gonna be, I'm an artist, I'm a creator, I'm amazing. I'm a black woman that does what I need to do. I'm creative and I feel like people always like to play with black women, especially black women that look like me with this skin tone. People always like to play us and downplay us. I'm the reason why people still buy that hair today. Me, me, I did my video first with hair that was intended for a twist, okay? It was never designed to be a ponytail. How dare y'all? That was a slap in the face. It was a slap in the face. And I'll put the video below of the tutorial that the stylist did on the influencer. And like I said, there's no shade to the stylist, no shade to the, the influencer, but I know I could have did that better. Or come get with the doer, because I does this. This is who I am, this is what I do. I could have did that better, way better. And then it's like, why would y'all not want to get with the influencer that influenced people to buy the hair? Y'all know how big that would have been? Y'all know how great that would have been? I'll treat her. That would have been amazing to see. But y'all stole from me. And it was like, what was the reason? I never did nothing to y'all. I promoted y'all hair. I spoke highly of y'all products. And that's what y'all do to me. And I know a lot of y'all going to be like, Mona, why are you talking now? Because it's, it's never too late to stand up for yourself. It's never too late to stand up for yourself. I should have talked about it then, but I'm talking about it now. It's never too late. Because the, the, that's, that's something that has hurt me over the last years. But like I said, I have been so caught up in life that I haven't even had a chance to speak on anything. But the time is now. Why would you do that to me, I'll trade you're like why would y'all do that like that was so low that was so dirty like I just like I just can't even believe it. like still to this day I cannot even believe that and then they reached out to me in like 2020 to work again and I declined that because it's like leave me alone y'all stole from me blatantly in my face and you're talking about we created a pony so oh because you added a gold charm down the back and you didn't part the hair it's still my creation y'all got inspired by me by me. If it wasn't for me, y'all wouldn't have done that campaign. Y'all wouldn't have. Now, maybe y'all did have the, the longer length in works, but y'all didn't have that longer length in works for a ponytail. Y'all had it in works for twists. Stop playing with me. Like, stop playing with me. I don't know if y'all thought that this was never going to get out, but I'm sharing it because it still angers me to this day. Because content creators, like especially me, that's my work. And I put all, my all into what I do. And then for you to steal from me, not even not even acknowledge me in the proper manner they shared a picture didn't even share a clip of my video why because you knew you were gonna steal from me out trying is that why y'all couldn't work with me like i just don't get that why would y'all not fly the influencer out that inspired y'all why why and then to parade and act like that's y'all original content is crazy i wonder why the content creators don't want to do this no more. Y'all wonder why the OG hair creators and the OG natural hair creators and stuff like that. Y'all wonder why they don't want to do this no more because you deal with stuff like this and it's hurtful. Not okay. It's not okay. So ultimately, at the end of the day, I'll trade. Y'all probably going to see this video. And if y'all not reaching out for, with compensation, leave me alone. Like, if y'all not going to cut me a check, because like I said, all these beauty supply stores around the United States that have been ordering y'all hair is because of me. Because people have been requesting that hair. People go looking for that hair still to this day. Like I said, I see my influence out in the world. Oh, and because y'all choose to put a gold charm down the back of the ponytail and not put a part ish y'alls, y'all never intended for that hair to be for a ponytail. And y'all know that. Y'all know that. Y'all know, y'all know that. That hair was intended for twists. But see, then you get a creator like me that is a creative. That's what I do. I take it and make it something else because that's what creators do. That's what I do. That's who I am. Okay? And put some respect on my name. You don't know if the video is not going to go viral. The video was still going viral when you sent me that whack-ass email. 
The video was still going viral then, babe. The video is still watched to this day. It's my most viewed video. What? It's still bringing y'all in money. What? What? Stop playing with me. So, I'll try. Y'all really need to be thanking me. Y'all really need to be cutting me a check. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So ultimately, I wanted to share this story. I'm pissed off. I am. I am. Because re having to relive this is crazy. Ultimately, put respect on creators' names, okay? Y'all didn't have to do that to me. Y'all could have gotten the field and we could have worked together. But no, no. Am I the wrong paint job? Is that what it was? What is it? What is it? Because that's the vibe it's giving me. What is it? We create. Y'all talking about what y'all created? And you knew not to send me that video because you know you had stole from me. That's that's what's even more crazy. That's what's even more crazy. I gotta start with Outre because that was sad what y'all did to a young black creator. Why would y'all do that to me? Why? 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 And then offered me $150. Like I said, I was well established in my career at that point. Like, what was that? I have viral video after viral video after viral video. I've been featured in magazines. Stop playing with me. Viral after viral. Still to this day, people do my tutorials. And can't nobody tell me no different. Can't nobody tell me no different. I still get messages. Yeah, I done switched my Instagram a few times. So the traffic is a little weird right now. But I've got messages over the years of women messaging me, thanking me. That's my talent. Okay, I just wanted to share this story with y'all to show y'all that a lot of the stuff that y'all see on the internet really ain't sweet. A lot of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, it be a lot of heartbreaking stuff that be going on that us influencers, we have to swallow and take. And people don't see that side. But I'm tired of hiding and I'm tired of protecting people and protecting brands. I'm going to start calling y'all out for y'all nonsense because it's wrong. And you have, to, you have to speak on what is wrong. And we need to start standing up for what is right. Like, like I said, I don't care about other YouTubers and stuff like that doing my tutorials. I don't. But give me my credit, man. Don't sit up on your video and act like you got that from yourself out your brain. You got that from my channel. A lot of y'all creators, y'all think because y'all have more subscribers and stuff like that that you can go steal from a creator that may have a little less subscribers than you and no one's going to notice. But people notice because of some of my supporters that supported me, y'all noticed that when people were stealing my work. Y'all noticed. So it's just like, at the end of the day, it makes it hard to want to get on this camera and show up when you get treated like that for no reason. For no reason. And you get disrespected like that. That was disrespectful. After I brought y'all sales. And that's the things I get. Is that the things for I get for putting you on? Is it my fault that I'm like, now I gotta rap Nikki verse. Like, I put... Like, come on now. Like, what we doing? What we doing? What is that? What we doing? So that's all I got to say about this topic. I just wanted to share this. I needed to get this off my chest. This is healing for me. I am on a healing journey. And in order for me to completely heal, I have to sit here and be honest and transparent on my channel. And for me to move forward with being a creator, I had to get this off my chest. I had to get this off my heart because this is something that has been bothering me that I talk about in my private life. And I'm like, no, I'm going to get on camera and I'm going to talk. That's why God gave me this platform and I'm going to share my life experiences with y'all. Like I said, I needed to get this out. Thank y'all for listening. Thank you to those of y'all are going to understand where I'm coming from and not misconstrue my story. Thank y'all in advance. I'll trade y'all dead wrong. And if y'all reach out to me, y'all need to be reaching out to me with something good. Cha-ching. That's what y'all need to be reaching out to me with. Other than that, don't reach out to me if you ain't got nothing kind to say. No apology. I don't want to hear it. Okay? But I'm going to tag a video below that they created. <laughs> they came up with like I said no shade to the creator no shade to the hairstylist but that they created sure sure be for real stop playing with me